Welcome, everybody. Um, thanks all for attending this, our, our fifth annual workshop, our Breathe workshop. Um, as most of you know, Breathe is um, a big interdisciplinary collection of folks um, from humanities and social sciences to biomedical sciences and engineering. And the focus, as it were, for the center has been um, the whole acronym of BREATHE, which is Bridging Regional uh, Ecology, Aerosolized Toxins and Health Effects, or basically air quality and health impacts. And we've been having a variety of really great workshops over the last several years. Um, so for example, two years ago, the workshop was focused on humanities perspectives on air quality and health. Last year, it was on uh, air quality monitoring. And this year, it's on wildfires and health. And although, we, of course, we have talks on a variety of topics related to air quality and health, um, the major keynote talks are going to be specifically about different aspects of wildfires and, and the impacts. So let me, um, um, a few, I will let I, I think let's first uh, do the land acknowledgement and then I'll get to some of the logistical questions. As you can probably uh, have noticed that we are recording this and so the recordings will be posted on the uh, the videos will be posted on the on the website um, soon after. So um, land acknowledgement um, this is an important part of our um, campus recognition of the uh, land and communities that we are, um, that we are occupying. So um, we at UCR would like to respectfully acknowledge and recognize our responsibility to the original and current caretakers of this land, water, and air, the Cahuilla, Tongva, Luceno, and Serrano peoples, and all of their ancestors and descendants, past, present, and future. Today's meeting place is home to many indigenous peoples from all over the world, including UCR faculty, students, and staff. And we're grateful to have the opportunity to live and work on these homelands. Um, again, thanks for joining us. And as you'll see, um, in, in partly, you know, kind of in, in um, synergy with the uh, land acknowledgement, a lot of the work we're gonna be talking about today is really focused on the local um, issues of the land, um, the environment, um, and, and how the air quality and environmental exposures do affect health. So it, I think it's a, a, a nice topic to be uh, discussing today. The um, logistical question. So as I mentioned, the, um, the workshop is being recorded and it, the videos will be posted on the website uh, later on. We had a few adjustments to the schedule. Um, and we're fortunate that all of our keynotes are going to be um, speaking. And so um, please have a look at the most recent revision of the, um, um, of the schedule. The um, practical aspects is that I will be moderating the morning session and uh, Will Porter is gonna be moderating the um, afternoon session. And the way this will go is that for each of the talks, we have the talk and then a few minutes set aside at the end for questions. Now, during the talk and afterwards, if anybody has questions, the way we're gonna handle it is that we're asking you to enter your question in the chat. You can see in the, on the uh, bar, on the menu bar on your Zoom app. So you can see, uh, so you can enter your question there and then, uh, I or Will will see the questions in the chat and then we can kind of transmit that to the, the speaker and that'll help us kind of um, um, make sure we don't have too many redundant questions, things like that. So we'll work with that. There is a break for lunch in the middle of these, the um, workshop today. Um, so you'll have a chance to stretch your legs and walk around and, and, and things like that. Okay. Um, if you have, okay, let me put my uh, chat thing here. So if you have questions, certainly um, let me um, know. You can enter any questions or issues that come up in the chat. Um, 
I want to start off by thanking Pika Preston, who's been not just amazing at pulling all of these things together, but she's been so cool and efficient through all of the adjustments we've been making, especially in the last 12 hours. Um, <laughs> so um, again, thank you, Pika. Um, just a you know, wonderful job.